Hey, it's Dusty Martin with the Martin Group at Platinum Living Realty. It is July 6th, 2023, bringing you your monthly market update for the city of Scottsdale. So buckle up, hit the subscribe button, and let's go. All right, our active listings in the city of Scottsdale are down 9.3% over this time last year. Meanwhile, our sold listings are actually up from this time last year, 6.1%, leaving us with a median sale price per square foot only being down 6.2% this time year over year. That means our median uh, price per square foot is sitting at just over $399 per square foot for the city of Scottsdale. Now our months of supply though is down over 14% over this time last year. We're currently sitting at 1.88 months of supply. So in other words, about seven weeks worth of inventory. We are not quite to that two month mark, but we are well inside seller market territory for the city of Scottsdale for most price points. And I will break those down if you watch till the end. All right. So then our median days on market is up 81.5% over this time last year. But when you think about it, it's still only 49 days, meaning in the city of Scottsdale, on average, if you list a home, it should be on the market an average of about 49 days before you are done and closed and moving off to the next thing. Now, keep in mind, it takes about 30 days to close that property, most using a loan. If it's not a loan, then it can be a little bit quicker. However, if you subtract that 30 days from 49, you're left with 19 days that really it's truly on the market. And then the rest of those 30 days that are remaining are likely under contract, but not quite pending, right? So that's kind of what you got to keep in mind. So in about 19 days on market, for most price points, you really should have at least one solid offer from which to choose from. If you're not, you've got problems. All right, so then let's talk about our months of supply by price point. What I am liking with this trend the last year or so is as things have calmed down and leveled out, we are starting to see lower price points come back into the mix, having at least some inventory. So you guys can remember in most of 2021, about half of the price points had no inventory whatsoever. And it's because they would either sell for way over those price points or they would sell before they even got on the market. Okay. So zero to a hundred thousand dollars in the city of Scottsdale, you're sitting at an even two months worth of inventory. That's a very strong seller's market. You may have multiple offers, but maybe not a feeding frenzy. Then you go to the 100 to $200,000 price range and you're at three and 0.75 months of supply, almost four months. Four months or less is a seller's market. So in that four months of inventory, it should take you about four months to sell your home, which is still actually kind of fast. You should probably be selling for somewhere between 97 and 99% of list price at that point. And you should be seeing at least one solid offer within a month being totally on the market. You're going to want 10 showings in a month. And out of those 10 showings, you want one solid offer. Then you're going to look down at the 200 to $300,000 price range, and you are at 1.41 months of supply. So under six weeks worth of inventory, that's a pretty hot seller's market. You're going to start seeing multiple offers in this scenario. So keep that in mind. If you're coming in and thinking that, oh, interest rates have gone up so I can lowball, not the case because our inventory, like I said, our active listings are actually down from this time last year. And this time last year, we didn't have a whole lot of listings. So keep that in mind. We kind of maxed out in like December and January, and it's been plummeting ever since. Then we're going to drop down to the three hundred dollars to $500,000 price range. This gets you 1.68 months of supply. So just under uh, seven weeks worth of inventory. So more than six, less than seven. Still crazy white hot sellers market. I cannot stress this enough. Then we get to the 500 to $700,000 price range. And this is kind of like entry level single family detached house territory in Scottsdale these days. There you're at 1.18 months of supply, less than five weeks worth of inventory. Expect bidding wars, expect lots of traffic in homes that are priced and marketed appropriately. 
in this price range. Same goes for the $700,000 to $1 million price range. That's at 1.7 months of supply. So just a smidge under seven weeks worth of inventory. It's going to be fierce. This is not the time to try to lowball a seller. Now, something been on the market about 100 days, you know for a fact that there's either something wrong with the house or it's overpriced. So act accordingly. But homes that are newly on the market that look really good and are marketed really well, and you're passing other buyers in and out of your showings or open house, that's a sign that house is priced appropriately and you should make your offer in accordance. All right. So then we're going to look at the one to three million dollar price range. Now, this is where the majority, the largest chunk of homes, or should I say the biggest slice of the pie is in this price range, the one to three million dollar range. We're just over two months worth of inventory. So it's still a very strong seller's market. You're going to see um, average list price, list to sale price ratios, about 98.5 to 100% of list price, maybe 99 is probably a good average right there. But then when we look at our $3 million and over price range, we're at 4.23 months of supply. That's down more about a month and a half worth of inventory less than we had in that price range last summer, which is saying a lot because that price range is very, very seasonal for the city of Scottsdale and then for Arizona in particular, because most buyers in that price range got to say like, the summer is usually our slow point. So to see that inventory having gone lower, knowing that interest rates are actually higher than they were this time last year, that should be an eye opener. And I think what the Fed is not letting on, or at least not understanding, is that they can do whatever they want, the interest rates, but at the end of the day, we didn't build houses for 10 years. So if we didn't build houses for 10 years, let alone to keep up with population growth, we're just not going to have enough homes in general, regardless of the price. So in my opinion, if we want prices to actually come down a significant amount, or at least even out and stabilize the housing economy, then we need to just build more houses and not hold up that process as much. And that's not just here for Arizona or Scottsdale or Phoenix or any of that, but just nationwide, we are short homes and that's what is driving the demand despite the interest rates being where they are. So in my opinion, you can buy now and refinance later if uh, rates happen to come down. But at the same time, if rates come down to like 5.5 is what a lot of people are saying, I think if they get below six at all, I think we're going to see a frenzy again, knowing that things are such a hot seller's market here in the high sixes to mid sevens. Just seeing that, that tells me that we don't have enough homes, regardless of price, regardless of um, interest rates. And so if we don't have enough homes, the minute those homes become more affordable, the ones who want or need those homes are going to start jumping back into the market. Some of them have kind of camped out because they've either been priced out of the market and they're being forced to rent. But at the end of the day, even those rentals, for the most part, have gone up. Again, that's just supply and demand. There's a high demand because we have people who need homes. So until that changes, prices, in my opinion, are going to keep going up. If you're wondering what your home would sell for in today's market, or if you're wondering what it would look like for you to buy a home in today's market, go ahead and give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit our website at martinpropertiesaz.com.